Kentucky. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis, and we are just cooking away. Today, what do we have? I see the sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. So, so I don't know excited. if you are in on the food trends that are sweeping Instagram, but apparently sweet potato toast is the new food this year. I am not aware of it. <laughs> So Sorry, I don't know how I, I might not it. be in on the fashion trends, but I try to keep up on food trends. Well, good. I'm glad you can keep me <laughs> And informed. there is like, yeah, this like mad um, media bit that is all about sweet potato toast. Okay. So I'm going to talk about sweet potato toast today, and that's what we're going to make. We're going to do like two different varieties. Okay. Um, and it really is just sweet potatoes in the toaster. And it's that and easy. And that is the sweet potato toast. <laughs> I love it. That sounds pretty so easy. So I've cut uh, the sweet potato. I cut the ends off, and then I cut a flat side so that it is flat on the counter. So it doesn't and then out. cut another flat side to where we can now cut some planks. Okay. So get up on there. Yeah. Um, so basically, you're going to cut. So these are not pre-cut. I mean, no. pre-cooked either, no. right? No. This is raw sweet potatoes, and we're just going to cut some nice, like, planks. Okay. And so what I have done is I have cooked these in the toaster. And you want to go about five minutes or so in the toaster, and okay. they get a little bit softened. Okay. So you feel. Yeah. I can a little see bit softened. around a little bit. Yep, and so you might have to run it through the toaster a couple times, you uh -huh. know, to where it gets to that stage. Uh, but then that is about it. Um, and then we can season that with salt and pepper. You could put some almond butter on that if you wanted. But what we're going to do um, with two of these is we're going to do a fried egg. Okay. So I have a little sunflower oil in the pan. Yep. And I'm just going to add um, an egg. It's pretty hot, so watch. going to let that kind of fry up. I'll season that with some salt and pepper and then that okay. can go on one of the sweet potatoes. Okay. So again, the sweet potato toast, the idea is it's for breakfast, but it's going to give you like some added, you know, oomph, you know, then and just a nice substitute to bread. Now, what is what are sweet potatoes good for? I mean, what are the benefits of eating sweet potatoes? Well, I mean, sweet potatoes are definitely full of like beta carotene, mm -hmm. you know, so you get some of those benefits as well. And then they're full of vitamins. Mm -hmm. um, they're a good carb mm -hmm. over some other they're not as starchy and not as like full of carbs right. as say some of the others. But there is some natural sugar in there, um, the, the sweet potato. Right, the sweet <laughs> of the sweet potato. Yeah. Right. So um, in addition to this, I'm going to take the avocado. We did this in another recipe, um, but I want to just talk about it. You're going to take your knife and go right around the pit. Okay. And just be cautious, you know, when you're taking that pit out. I like to just kind of wiggle it a bit, uh -huh. and then that takes the pit. Don't try to pull it off of your knife. Just press it down and let that kind of pop off naturally. Nice, nice. I can just see so many people taking that and... Yep, exactly. Um, we don't want that. No, um, we don't. So then I'm no just going to score this um, just in slices. Okay. And then we're going to scoop that out. Out. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And so we can lay our avocado on our toast or we could even like mash this up mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a little bit of an Asian variety. Again, I'm all about the heat. Um, I like a little spice. Yes, you and do. you don't, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> well, I like a little. It's, I'm going to go with a little bit of this chili sesame oil. Uh -huh. And then we've got a little red pepper flake, salt and pepper, and I'm going to do a bit of... Um, diced or sliced green onions on this. Gotcha. Mmm, that sounds good though. So, yeah, you could kind of, I mean, the combinations are endless. I was reading one where you could, if you wanted to go the sweet route, uh -huh. you could go with um, almond butter and like cocoa nibs or cacao nibs. Straight on to the... Straight on to your sweet potato sweet toast. Thing. So okay. if you wanted to have kind of that like sweet breakfast uh, bite. Okay, gotcha. So, a little red pepper flake on there. Another little kick. Yeah, I'll leave yours. Cake. I'll leave yours without. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, there's so many different oh, varieties or too. ways that you could go about this. Um, and then this one, I like a good little bit of a runny egg here. So we could top this one with a nice egg. Nice. And slice that guy up. It's oh, just yeah, a bread great. substitute. So. I can't wait to try this. You'll this have is so to different. you'll have to Google sweet potato toast. I am and going see to all the new and different varieties, but it's just something to kind of give you a little something new in the morning. Well, I'm glad you're keeping us up with the food trends. <laughs> <laughs> and I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want more information about this recipe and many other recipes, go to our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Oh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> or you can go to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com. We will be right back right after this short break.